Good afternoon and welcome back to Michelle Peha Art. Today I'm just showing you something just a little bit different, what to do with your um, skins. So I have some here that have come off my silicone mat from previous paintings. You can also, with this one, I just filled up a cup, poured it on my silicone mat, let it dry and just peeled it off. So that's it there okay so a couple of things I've done is you can use if you've got punches this one is the bow punch Oops. which I just made a cute little bow with the skins so on the so if you can just see that made a little bow so on the back I just get a dimensional just peel that off, stick it on the back. So just stick it on the back and you can, if you've got a present or something, just stick it on. And it's just a cute little bow to go on a gift or if you've got a painting, um, wrap up your painting and just get a paint skin and make a little bow and stick it on. Okay, so that was the bow. I do have many other punches. I get all my punches from Stampin' Up. And there's another one. So this one here, I cut out with this scallop punch. You cut out probably about between five and six, five, six to eight of these. Place them all together on top of one another put a little hole and you just basically you're just going to squish them you need a lot more than two but then you just give it a good little squish and then when you open it up when you have many it forms a little flower but you need more than two I just did two just to show you you can do the same with these little flowers too okay so um, <clears throat> I'll show you this, this little one, quickly, or should I show you the big one, I don't know if I've got enough for the big one, okay we can do the, do the, the little one, maybe, yep, so just get the punch, I just line it up, punch them all out, need to get a few more and then this one stuck in there we'll just get a couple more of these five and six Six. I would show you how to do the big one but I don't have enough skins for that one so I'll just show you this one So you've got your little flowers here, just get a piercing mat, S stick your flowers on top of one another, and you can do this with the scallop one, you can do it with any of your flower punches, stick a hole in the middle pick them up on there just get a a little brad just a little brad put that in the middle and we will just if I can split it or just a split pin if you've got a split pin if you don't have any brads so put that in there and then all we're doing is picking up each layer 
been giving it a little squish. And then you get your dimensional, stick it on the back. And then you just have a little play with it, get the flower how you would like it. And then you've just got a cute little flower. And again, take the backing off and you can take the backing off and you can stick it down. So so you've got your little bow or a little flower. Okay, so so basically you can just use your punches with your skins just to make some little, little decorations for gift wrapping or card making. So I have a little canvas here. This one is four by six inch. Okay, we don't need to take the size, I'll just take the wrapper off. Don't need to take the sides or anything. So what we're going to do is I have a little step set here from stamping up the little wild. And this is just showing you what you can do that's cute for a little little kid's room. Okay, so I have a stamp that comes out of there, the little elephant. I think I like the, the little elephant. So what we're going to do is we only want the front, so I'm just going to cover up the other half with some tape. I mean, with um, post-it note, because I only want this half. And if that'll work on there, it should work. Okay. So we're just going to heat emboss this. This is to stop the emboss powder from going anywhere. It's just a little little buddy. Okay. So get your verse mark. Just going to dab the verse mark. It says sticky substance just on the elephant. Just going to put him on the side here. Okay, I'm going to get my emboss powder. So this is black with a little bit of glitter in it. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on. and take off the excess. Then I'll just get my paintbrush, get the bits off that I don't want emboss powder on. So I have my little elephant on there, pour the rest into the container, tip that in there. And we will just heat set this.
Okay. Okay. So ne next what we're going to do is just get your palette knife. I have this paste here. What's it called? Shimmer White Emboss Paste. Um, I've got some trees. So all I want to do is put a little tree on here, just on the side, and I just want to put some paste on there. Okay, see if I can do this top bit. It's a little bit fiddly. So basically I want the picture neutral because I'm going to be putting hearts on there with the paint skins. Okay, so there's one tree, and then I just want to put a tree over here. You probably want two little trees here, maybe there. Maybe this tree and this one. Maybe just these two. Okay. Okay. So usually I would take my time with this but I'm sort of don't want the video to go too long so just stick this paste on Okay, that should about do it. That's so cute. Okay, I'll have to give that a wash. Okay, so I'll just take off what I didn't want on there. Okay, so I've got my little, if you can see, the little trees on there. Okay. I put my lid back on so at this stage I still don't want any color on there okay that needs to be washed now I'm going to see if I can heat set this part Okay, so I've done the little trees and heat set the little trees on there. If you wanted to add colour, you could. It's just a matter of mixing the paste with some colour, but I wanted it pretty neutral. Okay, so I've got my little, um, this is my little 
our punch. So this little heart up here, I've punched out some little little hearts which I'm going to stick on here. So I'm just going to, I've got some fine tip glue. Where is it? Yeah, fine tip glue. Take the lid off. And I'm just going to put some dots where I would like the little hearts to go. One, two, three, four, five, maybe one there, six. Okay, so just pick up my little heart. And just put them in place where I would like them. I think I want this silver one. Well, of all six okay so I've got my little paint skins down they're my little hearts <clears throat> okay so it's just very very neutral but I've used the paint skins you can see the shimmer in there when you emboss the elephant I just wanted a black and white background but you can actually use different colour emboss powder for the elephant the same as you can colour the paste that goes on here and this is all raised you can see it's a little bit raised okay so that's just a quick and easy little little um sort of a little little painting but not it's just another way to use the paint skins on a bit of wall art okay so meanwhile I also that was the other thing we did we did the little flowers this is the bigger flower if you want to have a look at those you can make I just added a bit of um, and cut out some of these so the same way as we did this little one I did this big one this big one is using this scallop punch okay but I love these they're really really cute okay and of course we can you can do your little little bow so if you've got punches of course use them with um, your paint skins the other thing I wanted to show you I love this it's just super cute for a little baby's room I just have to show you again okay so the other thing I wanted to show you is I had some leftover paint and I was just doing, um, I had some leftover paint and I thought, you know, I had these old coasters, wooden coasters, so I did a little ring pour with them. So that's the coaster and all I did was add a bit of um, gold leaf. So this is gilded, is it gilded leafing, um, some gold leafing from stamping up. So I just added a bit of that. So it's just a matter of just getting your fine tip glue and wherever you want the gold leaf, just put a little bit of glue down, just in areas that you would like it. So I'm doing it quite randomly. <laughs> Where else? Probably here. And this is really messy, this, because it's so, so light. So I just get a bit of this, pop it down. It's 
So just pop it everywhere that you've got the glue. Where else did I have the glue? Over here. So if you want really fine lines, don't push it down like I am. Um, just sit it on top and when it dries, you just get a soft brush and brush it off. Okay, let's cover up everywhere that's got glue. Get, this is value for money. You get so much of it in here. So where else has the glue? Over here. I think I wanted a little bit more down here. Maybe a little bit in here. I think that was it. Didn't really want too much. Okay, and this will get a coat of coat of resin, so I just added the gold leaf to that if you can see see that. Okay, so when it's dry, which it's not dry at the moment, but when it's dry you just get a brush and just pretty much just sweep it all off and what will stick there is what's stuck to the glue Okay, I've got to stop saying okay. Every video it's okay, okay. Probably need a bit more glue there. Well, anyway, that's the general idea. Need a bit more. And there. So this is for my 15 year old's room, I did her a painting with the leftover matte um, paint, I just threw it on some coasters and um, she really liked it so I thought you know what I'll just resin it, put some bottoms on it and you just add some gold leaf, whether you want some gold leaf. So it's just something else that you could do, just get all that back in there. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what you could do with your skin. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Had some inspiration just to make a little mini picture. It's it's basic, but it's cute. Um, so if you've got stamp sets at home, um, if you want to just draw a picture, um, get some 3D paste, put some paste on, stick your little skins on, make some awesome little picture. So I will see you next time where I'm going to be doing a 18, I think it's an 18 by 24 inch black base um, painting and I would like to use my Amsterdam Pearl um, paints on there. So I'll be doing that next. Okay, thank you for joining me. See you later.